Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and what do you see before you? It's a 1955 Iris Blue Beetle. Oh, what a gorgeous car. This car, if you don't know, is uh, done the rounds with us. As uh, We found this car over seven years ago when I first started this business uh, down in uh, South Jersey. And I sold it to a fellow about six years ago and then uh, he had it for a few years, traded it in for another Beetle that, he had, that we had here in the shop. And then we sold it once again to another client that we are now building a 54 ragtop for. So now he needs to sell this again. So second time that we are selling this car for somebody. So here we go, 55 Iris Blue Beetle, gorgeous car. The restoration has held up nicely on this vehicle. Uh, last year we even got it accepted to a Concourse Elegance in Ramapo, New Jersey. Uh, the car really stands out. There's little to no imperfections that you will find on here. Um, you know, it's got a little wear and tear here and there, but for the most part, it still shows very nicely. You can still take this to a car show, cruise night, or even a concourse. The car still has good tread on the tires. Uh, white walls still look okay. Um, hubcaps are, are in decent shape. Uh, shine them up and with a little chrome polish, they come out nicely. And we got the rare X cross hatch beauty rings on these things. If you don't want these things on, uh, you could just pop the hubcap off, and it's just a trim ring that comes off with it. So, uh, really nice accessory. Uh, very rare. I mean, if you go to look at these online to buy, uh, they're a few hundred bucks. These are nice German running boards. They're still in good shape. We just polished them up. Even the chrome trim is still in excellent shape. Got the tall gravel guards on this car. Really accents the car nicely with the color. And uh, again, here's the rear tire. If we go around to the rear bumper, this is an original VW bumper that was re-chromed. Uh, still looks pretty good. We opted, uh, the second client, uh, customer that bought this car, uh, opted for the Abarth muffler uh, to put on it. Remember, I have a video on that. And uh, the Abarth muffler really sounds good when it comes to, uh, when it comes to driving this car and performance. This is a period correct motor, 36 horsepower. Uh, still looks nice and shiny. Tins were powder coated. Jet black. Uh, looks real good still. We actually did do a freshening up on this motor. We repainted the manifold, freshened up the, uh, the pulleys, regulators. Um, we even put the O10 bus distributor in it. I like that combo with the A-bar muffler. Uh, it's a good combination when it comes to driving these old 36 horsepower motors. It gives them a little more kick and a little more power when it goes up uh, up hills. The iris blue on this uh, car, the paint still shines very nicely, guys. Even after seven or eight years that it was uh, restored, uh, really nice job on it. I mean, just when the sun hits it, it gleams. Uh, really, really stands out nice. Um, one thing I wanted to point out is that uh, late 55 Beetles in the USA uh, went through some changes. Uh, in America, the 55 Beetle is a bastard year Beetle. It's a short year. Uh, it's the first year where they went from uh, January, starting in the, the first uh, first of January to then August, was then they went to the following year. So August of 55 would then be a 56 Beetle. Uh, that was the first year that they did that. Um, but around June time, uh, the 55 Beetles in America went to the bigger taillights, like you see here, the Honeycomb, which was then consistent all the way up until 61. Uh, and then they went to the Overrider bumpers, like you see here, like I pointed out before. Um, the earlier Beetles would have maybe had a RAM protection option that would have offered the Overrider bumpers, but they were consistent on all late 55 uh, Beetles to have that uh, Overrider bumper with the honeycomb taillight. Also in America, they opt, they finally went to, for safety concerns, the bullet front turn signals like you see there on the front fender. So, basically from you know, June or so, May or June, when they went to these features to then August, you had um, the American features on it, but to have the ribbed doors, 55 and earlier Beetles still had ribbed doors, which is one of my favorite features on, on Beetles. I love the ribbed door Beetles. Just the way the door closes, it sounds, sounds like a nice old refrigerator. And then you still have the Batwing steering wheel, uh, which would have been, which we changed on this car. I'd still have the original if you want it. Uh, but if we put a banjo on this one. So, uh, some subtle changes that they that they did in 55. Again, a bastard year shortened, you know, time span to have some of these features. 
uh, gives a little more rarity to this car. Now the front of this vehicle really has some nice character. These fog lights really accent uh, the bumper, accent the, uh, the color of the car. Uh, just really add some nice character to this vehicle and they do function so uh, another cool little accessory that you can have on your front bumper if you want to have these removed we can always do that for you no biggie so when we first got this vehicle it actually had a red interior i did not like the red interior with the iris blue paint so i wound up changing it to a cloth interior which was more of a bone white from uh, so fine but the second customer wanted the interior changed once again and we went with the uh, beige tweed from SoFine uh, to give it more vintage flair, more of a vintage look. I actually do like this the best out of all the colors that we've had in the car. Let me get here a little closer so you can see the quality of the material. Uh, really nice stuff. SoFine does really excellent stuff and uh, you can't go wrong with them. So uh, really nice. And then the client even opted for the pillows in the back, which I think are really cool. Uh, the sewing is great, this is all hidden stitch stuff, so uh, the quality is really exceptional. He also opted for the banjo steering wheel with the St. Christopher horn button. Uh, again, if you want any of this changed, we can change it. little storage net accessory here we got as well uh, another nice little cute feature that is adds more class to a beetle he also added uh, German pop-out windows uh, great little accessory to add to a beetle good airflow inside the car if you never if you ever noticed before driving in a beetle if you do not have pop-out windows you have this uh, sometimes a thwarting wobbly effect on your ears um, if you have uh, maybe one window down but with pop-out windows, uh, there's more ventilation, and then that will get rid of that uh, wobbly effect. But the chrome is very nice on these, and uh, these are Germans, so very cool. As you can see down on the car, there are really no dings or dents. Down the side panels of the car here, it's straight. Uh, you really do not see an issue with the body or paint. Um, the doors open and close effortlessly. Uh, like I said, I love the sound of the 55 and earlier. They close really nice, sounds like an old refrigerator. Um, so nice lines, uh, car is just a, a gem to, to own and is appreciating in value very nicely. I mean, uh, since the, the years that this come through our shop, this car has gone up. Uh, so very nice, if you keep it this way, it'll only appreciate and uh, you can't go wrong. We start her up. Let's take a peek in here. Come on. All right. Uh, here's the manual trunk. Works and functions as it should. So, like I said in previous uh, videos, you could just pull that choke out a little bit. Tap the pedal a couple times. Turn the key. Make sure you're in neutral. And she should start. There we go. Very nice. Let's go take a peek. Car actually has a great sounding horn too. Perfect Euro Beetle style. Oh, I love it. All right, guys, that wraps up this video. If you're interested, Chris at classicvwbugs.com or visit my website www.classicvwbugs.com. And uh, this car is for sale once again. And uh, I hope it goes to a good home. She deserves it. Uh, we've been. Seeing this car proudly for the past six or seven years, coming to our gatherings, our shows, our cruises, and uh, really would like to see it go to a good home, guys. So give me a shout.